study because I'm literally so stressed out for this exam. I mean, the rest of my three exams are probably like the hardest exams ever. I literally just finished another exam. Hi everybody, it is now time for me to start studying for my finals. Today I'm actually finally starting calc because I feel like I just haven't started and i should start today was my last day of lectures for first year it was kind of like i guess it was just like underwhelming i guess that's the best way like it was kind of just like everyone was like okay bye i might see you like during an exam <laughs> finals has honestly been the biggest challenge since entering university mostly because in high school we didn't have exams because of covid so learning from semester one and dealing with burnout especially i tried to grow from that and apply better habits for semester two so update i was just on campus like the whole day today basically today was mostly just to meet with my group and do another few practice runs of our presentation and then for the rest of the day i just studied calc at different libraries and stuff but it's fine because after this week and next week we'll be chilling it'll be summer break it'll be so fun and i won't have to think about finals until next year so took a shower and now i'm doing homework so let's do some late night study sessions the main thing that i struggled with in semester one was just maintaining the motivation through five to six exams so for this semester i really tried to stay organized on my notion by setting goals and just mentally telling myself to get through it because i had to get them over with Used to have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best friends. Yeah. And now we go our separate pathways. So the next thing is packing my bag. Yeah. And maybe we could try it next week. Again. But I don't want to think what's us. But who cares? You said that we're over Hands under covers alone This time It's kind of nice walking around in the morning Like, it's so calm and peaceful that really helped me this semester on staying focused and disciplined and not getting distracted was just studying at libraries. Being around other people that are also studying just as hard really just motivates you to study as hard as they are. I also like switching around which libraries I go to just to have a change of scenery. Pacing yourself is also really important to try and avoid burnout. This means giving yourself time to have a break, to eat food, to go outside for a walk, or just get up and stretch and walk around. For example, some people like to follow the Pomodoro technique. I don't really like that because I find that I actually am more productive if I study for hours at a time and then take a break when I feel like it. In general, I would just recommend trying out different study habits and seeing which one ends up working the best for you. Hello everybody, today is the day, my first final exam. I spent a decent amount of time yesterday studying. I got really tired near the end, but I started studying for my next exam because that one's on Monday and I have to just, I have to do it. I have to do all of them. Um, 
but today I'm just gonna be going over some previous exam practice. I literally have so many previous exams that I've been doing. And here's another one. This one actually has solutions because I've been finding a lot of them don't have solutions. You know, like I just, I just want to get it over with at this point. This is my exam worth the least amount, so I'm not too worried. This is my formula sheet. I get to bring one piece of paper double-sided. So this is that. And we'll see how it goes, so wish me luck. Talking a bit more about just engineering and taking engineering courses in general, it is genuinely no joke. For this semester at least, I had five finals in total, one of them being a final presentation, which was a group design project, and then I had my calculus final, electricity final, dynamics, and coding finals. And I can say without a doubt that if I didn't really enjoy sciences and maths, compared to obviously other subjects, this would have been incredibly difficult for me to just complete and feel motivated to study for. I really like to remind myself as I'm doing this, what I'm doing this for, why I wanted to be an engineer in the first place, and just fulfilling that childhood dream of becoming an engineer. New nails, by the way. Anyway, I'm doing... really going through it for these last three exams just because they are basically the hardest ones so I was like non-stop studying every single day but the main thing that I really did want to maintain was just overall really good sleep so I tried my best to go to bed around midnight every day and woke up when I felt well rested so it is currently Sunday um, I forgot what day of the week, but basically I have my next exam tomorrow at like 6 p.m. But I need to study because I'm literally so stressed out for this exam. It's so, it just covers so much. I mean, the rest of my three exams are probably like the hardest exams ever. I'm going to say that now, but next year it's going to be even harder. But for now, these are like the hardest exams for this year, basically. And I'm so scared. I'm so worried. All right, anyway, I have to go to the library. My parents went out to meet with like some of their friends or something. And I have the whole house to myself, but I know I'm not gonna be productive. So I'm gonna go to a library and I'm gonna go study. It looks terrible outside today, but I just need to do this for myself. And I think I will thank myself later. I don't know, we'll just see. And I really hope it's not super crowded because it's a weekend and most people are already done their exams, I hope. Except for engineering students, so. Fingers crossed there's a seat. Yeah. Okay, I'm all set and probably get there around 12. See if I can study till like three. So we'll see. I also have to still like have a lunch, so. literally seven my parents are still not home i'm still doing these stupid exams and i'm still so stressed out and i still have to start stupid dynamics and this is my age sheet so far it's looking a little i don't know and i don't know at this point i'm so over this all and i'm listening to sizzle because you know the vibe So today I'm going to be doing, again, like I said, I'm studying for my coding exam. We are doing C. I have coded before, but I've only coded in Python in high school. And I didn't even go to like the full extent of the Python curriculum. So the beginning of learning C was okay to me. It was just learning like new syntax, but the end got really hard. So my professor 
that teaches my lecture actually writes the textbook. It's a really good textbook and she writes it and she goes over the same thing in lecture. But the only problem is because she's writing it in real time, it wasn't finished until like literally the end of the year. So now I have to go back and look at it all because I couldn't look at it while we were learning it because she was still writing it. A lot of people, I guess, ask me why I take both digital notes and handwritten notes. And honestly, the reason is because in coding, digital notes is easier because I can just copy paste stuff. And it's easier because a lot of it involves like a lot of drawing and it's just quicker when I can do like the copy paste function thing like this. Handwritten notes, actually, I like that better. Like it helps me remember things better and it's just more comforting because using the iPad really hurts my wrist sometimes and also hurts my eyes, so yeah but for next year i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i'll probably figure it out it'll probably be a mix depending on like my subjects but um overall i still like handwritten notes more okay let's begin the long stretch for the last exam of the entire final season is probably the hardest one to overcome because it's the last one so my coding one was honestly really hard for me to just be motivated to study for. At the end of the day, I just like to remind myself that I've done this before and I've gotten through it so I can do it again.